What's up, everybody? I'm JB. And I'm Jamie. Welcome to Wheel With Me. And this is our 12 Days of One Wheel. Every day for the next 12 days, we'll be releasing a brand new video featuring one of our favorite One Wheel accessories. Make sure you subscribe and then hit that bell to be notified when our videos go live so you don't miss out. All right, let's start. Welcome to day number eight of our 12 Days of One Wheel. And today we are talking about G-Form pads. All right, G-Form pads are freaking amazing. They're absolutely my favorite pads to wear when riding my One Wheel. I've had them since the very beginning when I first got my One Wheel back in early 2018. And I've taken my fair share of nosedives, that's for sure. And they protected me in every single fall. I've never got a broken bone underneath them. I don't even think I've ever got a bruise under my, or my elbow or on my knee wherever these pads have been protecting me. I did not start out with G-Forms. I started out with these triple eights. These things, I thought that they would be nice and comfortable, which they were comfortable, but they did not protect me at all. Every time that I would fall, they would slide. And so I have scars all over my elbows and all over my knees from when I was wearing these pads and they gave me no protection at all. So I moved on and got hard shell pads. These things are nice, they're super protective. Again, I think that I just have a smaller form that they just don't fit me as nice as what they're supposed to because these still slid on me and they're really bulky and really uncomfortable to wear. So finally, I moved on and got G-Forms. These have not slid on me at all. They're so comfortable. You can wear them underneath your clothes and not even tell that you have these on. They're great. Yeah, so these have this little rubber liner right here at the top if you can see and it goes on and it will grip around your skin and they're not going to slide down. Whereas something like these AAA Exo skins, I believe they're called, this just goes on your body. I can't, they're not fit for me, but then it's got this Velcro strap right here and it goes around you and that's it. So if it slides down, it's going to slide down. Um, like if it's too loose, it's going to slide down. Whereas these, like I said, since it's got that rubber lining. Yeah, try to pull it off. Look, it grips look. on you and look, it's just stretchy. You have to take it off from the top for it to come off. It's not going to just slide down and pull. Something else about these hard shell pads that I wasn't thinking about is that over time, they started to bend in like this, and this part of the pad started to dig into my knee, and that hurts. It is not comfortable at all. Yeah, I remember her falling one time and complaining that that is actually what cut her. Yeah. Um, and so like I've said, I've taken plenty of hard falls, whether it's on concrete or grass or dirt or whatever. I've fallen at 20 miles an hour and the worst I've ever actually had happen under a pad. Um, I ripped the pad, I ripped the uh, the threading on it right here and then I contacted the company about it and they actually gave me a coupon code for 50% off of more pads. So that was really cool. I've, like I said, I've never got a bruise, I've never broken a bone or anything under these pads. They've protected me 100% every time. All right, so they make a few different versions of G-Forms. These are the Pro version. They make an Elite version, and they came out with a brand new version called the Pro X2. Um, the Elite version, I think they're too long. The elbow pads and knee pads are both extended length, and just personally, I don't think that I need my knees or my elbows covered up any more than they already are. Now, the Pro X2 looks really cool. It's pretty much the same as these here. However, there are more um, mesh vents on the back. They don't just make elbow and knee pads. They also have shirts that have padding on the shoulder yeah. and going down the sleeves. They have shorts that have hip protection, which would be nice for impacts. I've seen a lot of people complaining about falling on their hips. This would be for you. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you can come back tomorrow to check out day number nine Woo. of our 12 days of one wheel. Bye everyone. Peace.